Yes, I am now in the new Ionic. Yes, this is a 38 point something kilowatt hours. 38.3, wasn't it? Let's just make it 38. And today I will do a new test I have found, which is a Yalo test. Yes, so I've charged the car to 100% and we are driving from Oslo to Yalo. It's uh, 225 something, um, almost 230 kilometers and uh, we have 600 meters of elevation also. I know the whole point of this yellow test is what to drive there, go some uphill, uh, some you know, country roads in Norway and see if it can make it there. Because you know, on paper, this car can go over 300 kilometers on VLTP, but we have to go uphill. And also we have rainy weather today. So this is a more real world driving condition. There's also winter-ish over here. So, can this car make it all the way to Yalo? Because the previous car I tested, uh, the e-tron 50, didn't make it. It was missing just 2% or something. But this one is the efficiency king. It has a much, way smaller battery. It's of course way smaller also. But hopefully the Ionic, Ionic can make it there. We shall see. We are now getting close to uh, Hörnefoss and uh, look at that consumption, man. Yes, Ionic is still efficiency king. Wow, <laughs> 123 watt hour kilometer. You know, that's half of um, e-tron's consumption. So basically you could drive two Ionics uh, to uh, Yalo and they will be able to seat 10 people well, including the driver. So 10 people, uh, and also the Ionic costs about half of the e-tron. So <laughs> yeah, that's a fun fact. All right, um, so we are now 167 kilometers away. Uh, what is the battery status? Wow, we still have 82% left, and the car claims 234 kilometers, uh, but we still haven't gone uphill. And the traffic is kind of slow now because it's, it's Friday afternoon, but it's raining, man, it's raining all the way so okay let's see then how it goes We are now in Gaul and we are down to 38%. Hmm. Okay, and GOM still claims that we have another 112 kilometers left. And we have only 53 kilometers to destination. So this is looking really good. When it comes to consumption, uh, 133 in winter with lots of hammering. <laughs> this is. Ionic, yes, Ionic for the win. So, um, so far so good. Um, yeah, but again, I don't know what 
is going to happen once we climb the mountains. But uh, so far it seems like we should be able to make it. We are now at Hagafoss, so uh, this is it. This is the point of no return. We have a fast charger over here. Uh, we have to choose whether we want to charge or keep going. And I choose to keep going. 16% and 50 kilometers left on GOM. Yeah, let's go for it. Well, here is the uphill. Yes, three kilometer long, 7% uh, grade. Wow, it goes kind of steep, so we have 15% now, oh... But you know, this is a big battery, but big-ish battery. If it was the old Ionic, the, st the percent would drop like a rock. But, uh, you know, I remember the old Ionic tends to, uh, to give me some false, uh, yeah, false security that it would usually drop very fast towards the end. But this one seems to be more linear. Again, not sure, but it seems to be more linear, yeah. 14%. Okay, come on. Getting close to the top, right? Well, actually, no, it will just keep going. I, f I forgot. Um, this is just one of the uphill uh, sections, but you see, still goes up, 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 up. Yeah, more up. Ooh. Oh yeah, yellow, here we come, or ich komme, yeah. So I have 10% left. <laughs> right, we're finally here at yellow. Wow, it took over three hours, but we could make it here with 9% left and the consumption was 144 watt hour per kilometer. That's pretty good, man. Keep in mind that we went 600 meters up, yes. So we will probably get some really insane consumption the way down again. But let's plug it in then. Okay, and uh, when I charge, when you, when you use the Circle K uh, uh, chargers, see, I'm gonna show you something. A little trick here, plug it in, all right? And then they use this, the Vista back end, so I can use the Vista RFID to start it. Really easy, I don't have to order uh, a Circle K uh, RFID. Um, let's check in, come on, there, clunk, yes. So I chose to use the 50 kilowatt, not the, the 150 kilowatt fast charger, because this one cannot utilize that speed. Actually, well, at low, low state of charge, you get slightly more sp speed, uh, I believe. Um, I can check it out once we do the 1000 kilometer challenge. Uh, but for me, it doesn't matter too much, you know. I kind of need to have a little break anyway. Go to the Chinese food. Oh, wow, look, <laughs> look at the gas price, man. That is insane. <laughs> okay, so, you see, when some of you guys were wondering, oh, but Bjorn, why do you have so, the, your calculation with the diesel seems to be off, derp, 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 derp. Well, look at this. Uh, the gas costs about 1.7 euros per liter. So, you know, you, can, you can't always refuel at the cheapest places. So you actually have to take in account that it might cost about 1.5 euros per liter on average. Whereas the price over here is fixed price. Yes, there's no you know, fluctuation up and down or whatever. So, wow. Well, I have to say, man, the Ionic, it made it here with a good margin. And it was raining all day. So... <laughs> Ionic for the win. You know, I'm pretty sure the old Ionic wouldn't be able to make it here. I have to stop. I might have to stop at Ghoul or something, but this one, yeah. So um, now we will. Uh, oh, I have to check out the charging screen, by the way. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's check the battery status. Yes, ice condition. Yes, that's fine. That's fine. 
Okay, um, where's the charging screen? I have to... Okay, low battery. Ah, what the heck? Man, these uh, car manufacturers, they, there should be uh, some logic saying that, okay, you know, you're charging, don't display. There you go. What? What? Huh? 25 kilowatt? Huh? What? Gee. This car Colgate is so efficient uh, that, um, yeah, it's so efficient that the battery is too cold at the rival. What the heck? It takes one hour and 45 minutes just to go to 80%. Are you kidding me? Huh? Colgate for the win. Let me, I'm going to show you something here before you guys comment. I have that uh, winter mode on, but it's, it's really not doing anything here. Let me show you here. Winter mode is on, okay? So for you guys who don't know the winter mode will heat up the battery or whatever, but it doesn't ne do nearly as good as uh, Tesla, especially Tesla. Tesla will actively heat up the battery. Uh, and not only that, but during driving, it will also heat it up with the leftover heat from the motor. So, but this one, mm, man, uh, I, uh, uh, okay. Um, I'm not sure if plugging in, plugging into the, the 150 kilowatt would help. Most likely not. This, it's just cold gates. So, um, oh well, I guess we're stuck here for a while. And oh, well, this is the really weird winter because it's two degrees Celsius here in uh, Yailu, you know, at 700 meters over sea level. Just look, everything is just wet. We have slush all over the place. I have to be careful. So we are in mid-January and we have this kind of winter over here. Wow. Okay, let's go over to the Chinese food restaurant. It's open now. Mm. Okay, so here's the restaurant. Do you know, I'm gonna be here many, many times. This, this restaurant is called Golden House and they open at at uh, two in the afternoon so uh, i wonder if i would try this one uh it's some some uh, chicken in bean chili sauce with cashew nuts uh, a little bit spicy well it says here oh man yeah so let's go for that one yes in norway everything is expensive so this one is 20 euros but that's that's norway man okay let's go for it Wow, the food is done already. They are super fast cooking over here. Just like last time, you know. Um, so here it is. It's on some hot uh, pot thingy. Um, and then rice and then coke. Oh, yes. So let me show you guys the app, by the way. Blue Link app. But let, let's just check the, the charger status first. So see, right now we are... Okay, I'll take... Yeah, see, we've been charging for 22 minutes almost. All right, and then if you go to the Blue Link app here, uh, we can update, let me see, reload. So we have to retrieve information. We have to, it, it's kind of like, you have to request uh, update. Charging, can we, can we click here? Okay, see, is that, oh, it's at 31%, okay. Maybe it speeded up a little bit once the battery is heated up, but it doesn't show you how many kilowatt it's charging at. So you just have to kind of guess based on the charging time and all that. You have to do all that Asian math. So, but I heard that there might be a new version coming out with more features and stuff. But if you go ahead to remote, okay, you want to start air conditioning, you can do it here. And you can choose what you want, uh, how many degrees Celsius. Um, windscreen, if you want to heat the windscreen, uh, the defroster or whatever. But we just, uh, yeah, only go for this one. Okay, so now we sent the command. Um, but I'm not sure. Okay, well, now it says, okay, re remote control was activated something. Okay, good. We got a confirmation that it was activated. Oh, but there's also a log here. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, but do we see a feedback that... Uh, status, maybe. There should be some kind of feedback that uh, the air conditioning is running. And again, we don't see how many degrees Celsius uh, it is in the cabin there. Um, Okay, yeah, okay, it says that AC is on, that's it, but no temperature feedback, but okay, good enough. I mean, at least it's a big step, right? 
uh, because in the old days with the old uh, classic Ionic, then you didn't have any app. So this is getting better. And then of course, if they update it, then I would like to see charging speed also. But okay, so far so good. Let's eat. Okay, let's try the food. Yes, I know some people are allergic to this, to watch me eat, but some people actually want to see. So here we go. Mmm, mmm, I like this, mmm, at least it's better than the burgers, yeah, and the hot dogs, mmm. Oh, that was good food and lots of food, um, it was about 250 nook, so 25 euros, but we have stayed here over an hour and I checked at the one hour mark, we went from um, from 9 to 79 percent and that translates to 25 kilowatt hours so that means 25 kilowatt on average <laughs> yes and over here i pay 2.5 nook per minute which means 150 nook per hour and that translates to six nook per kilowatt hour yes electric mobility for the wind <laughs> about um, all right let's get over there Wow, look at this. After one hour and 10 minutes, we are still only at 85%. 32 kilowatt hours delivered. All right, and then we have an e-tron next to me, probably slurping in 150 kilowatt or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> so actually let's just check. So the e-tron e came long time after us. We can check here that, oh, it's at 94%. You see, it stayed here 31 minutes. Okay, it probably wants to go to 100%. Yeah, but the e-tron 55 can charge pretty fast but you know first i was i was thinking about charging to 100 percent here but that's going to take way too long man so let's just go for it um from here let's see how slow it charges by the way whoa 15 kilowatt uh okay time to leave We have passed uh, Gol, and um, you know when when I left uh, Yalo, I had 87%, and now I'm down to 76%. So I spent only 11% driving 60 kilometers. Yes, but we went lots of downhill, so um, the consumption is ridiculously low despite being winter right now. So, all right, that's good. Uh, we have some traffic here. This is a uh, Hyttefolket. Yes. It's uh, almost five in the afternoon, so they are uh, going for the hills, run for the hills. All these office workers, you know, they, uh, they go to the cabin in the weekends. And then we run into them now, which is good, I guess. Would be sad if we were going uh, towards Yale right now. So, um, yes, so far so good. Uh, seems like it's going to rain all day, yes. Wet road all the way, which of course increases rolling resistance. So you can only imagine how efficient this car would be in the summer on dry roads.
Oh yes, we are back in Oslo. Yes, we arrived with 10%. So that means we spend 77% going back here. Okay, not too bad. And I see that uh, we have... Uh, well, the consumption on this leg was... Uh, uh, average consumption was 124. It was raining all the time, man. Wet road. So I wonder if we did this in summer, we would probably get uh, about 100. 100 to 110 watt hour per kilometer that's my guess and then the total is um, 470 kilometers okay uh, 135 man 135 in winter ish that's pretty good that's ionic man i actually believe that ionic is more efficient than model 3 uh because in winter because in uh, ionic has heat pump so well, maybe I'll try to find out one day, but um, yeah, so let's plug in. That's the problem though with this car. <laughs> it might be more efficient than Model 3, but it cannot match Model 3's char uh, charging speed, not even the standard range plus. Okay, let's see. Um, at Yalo, it was 25, but I guess it should be 30 now because it's warmer here and we've been hammering slightly harder. Let's see, what do we get? What do we get? Ah, uh, 30! Oh, like a ninja. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, 30 kilowatts. Ah, uh, well, it's still damn slow. Oh, man, how is this going to be for the 1,000 kilometer challenge? We have to drive hard, you see? Some people that claim like, oh, you know, uh, it's better for the Ionic to, uh, to drive slower. Uh, well, I don't agree because if you drive too slow, the car will call gate. Mm, niche good yeah so yeah that's it the yellow test i think i will call it the yellow test and then we have the 1000 kilometer challenge yes so the yellow test on the way up the the ionic did it just fine and then the charging test mm, niche good uh, at yellow and then just the charging test here again bad so you know what I kind of like this test because when when I do the 1000 kilometer challenge I drive fast and for a long time at highway speed and at motorway speed and then I rarely get Colgate so this one is a better test for checking Colgate and also to test what happens when you drive kind of slow-ish you know average speed is about 70 kilometers per hour or something uh yeah actually it's, it's about 70 kilometers per hour because it's 225 kilometers and i spend a little over three hours to get there uh and then yeah so it's it's a good test i think uh i'm not sure what you guys think but um i will probably do this for cars that i guess can take that trip uh, without charging so of course it doesn't make sense to try it with uh with a fiat 500e or whatever you know uh, we try we try a car that can get there and maybe uh so it should be cars with about 300 uh plus uh, kilometers of range so i could even try this with a model 3 you know we'll see Th that could be interesting to see if we drive mc hammer from here to yellow just as a reference you know how many percent we will arrive with um i think it should be 40% maybe wild guess yeah but um, okay so I think that's it for now I hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later